What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. I got week three of Daniel Taylor, the third season with the Carolina Panthers. And it's basically just like, it's just Daniel Taylor and the rest of whoever's on the offense. You know what I'm saying? It's like, there's no help from the offense, whatever position you're playing. You know what I'm saying? Quincy Blunt, Matt Ryan, and everybody else can't score. And when I'm playing with Daniel Taylor, I'm the only one that can score, you know. So, you know, I'm just following the coach's plays. So, you're going to see, like, the strong close a lot. And they're not even trying to run the read option because they know that that is not Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? That's imposter Cam Newton right there. That's imposter, imposter Cam that's playing quarterback right now for the Carolina Panthers. And you see we get this nice dive over the line. As we did that first drive quickly, we ran straight down the field, had, like, two big runs. And we ended up getting stopped close, and we heard it was jumped over nobody right there. But we landed in the end zone. It looked real nice when you see it from the side, but kind of was unnecessary. But who cares? We got the touchdown anyway, and we are up seven to zero. They they did not score on their first job of the game, so we be all right. But but really though, like I really I I guess it's because it's on all pro or all I'm playing on all pro on this. So if if you have a, a career of yourselves can you you play like defense or something and you play something other than quarterback then tell me like is your offense actually putting up points on the board or like or, or something like is there a specific playbook or something that you have to choose because they I really can't do anything you see we try to do the option but like they get stopped you know what I'm saying I understand that it wasn't that much blocking on that side of the field but then I had to go and pick that full panther triple option and we breaking tackles and we falling into the end zone, man. Daniel Taylor, he he's too hard to bring down. You can't have one person to bring him down. That time, three people hit him. And he's still falling forward into the end zone, and I'm finally getting a celebration. I I, I also noticed that if you score, sometimes you just don't even get a celebration. You just hold the ball and you just walk away with it. It's like real crazy. But Cam Newton. Ends up throwing the pick. Daniel Taylor coming down, unblocked, laying the big hit. I don't even know if that was a safety. I think that was the cornerback. I think it's Cortez Allen. I just hit right there. Almost laid him out, but he got right back up celebrating. But it was a nice hit, though, by Daniel Taylor. But that's what I'm talking about. That's Cam Newton. This is why I get all these carries again because I'm not trying to lose right now. Daniel Taylor trying to take over. And you see he's trying to take over on fourth down. And that doesn't work. You know, we probably should have let Cam Newton throw the ball. Or we probably should have punted, but we didn't. You know what I'm saying? Hope, luckily, the defense came up with a stop. And you can see, man, Daniel Taylor's breaking all these tackles in the backfield. Like, there's no blocking. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's blocking. Sometimes it isn't. Cam Newton breaks off an actual Cam Newton run. That's imposter Cam going right there. And he actually runs with the ball and picks up the first down. But fourth down in the fourth quarter, we're going to run it up the middle right with Daniel Taylor. Because, you know, he's in the control of the offense. Ron Rivera, no. You know what I'm saying? If Daniel Taylor feel like they feel like going for it, then they probably going to go for it. They go for the triple option. Cam Newton gets hit by three people on that play. He ends up pitching it. And we end up gaining some yards on that play. It could have been a loss. I was jamming LB, so make sure he could pitch it. You saw um, Daniel Taylor's stat lines right there. But we're going off with the option again. And we end up getting another first down. Moving the ball down. Phil, we go with the toss. Breaking the tackle in the backfield. Breaking another one. And the third person finally takes him down, man. Number 55 on the Steelers. We coming out, running again. We bounce off the tackle. And I thought that was going to be a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? I hit the pylon, but it wasn't. So we end up doing the power O on the goal line. We easily just step in. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, I stepped in the end zone. He immediately turns out and just doesn't even celebrate. But all we had to do was take a knee right here. But you know what? Daniel Taylor is in charge of the offense. There's no coach. There's no quarterback. So he wanted to run the ball, and he ended up fumbling on the last play of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty dumb. Don't move on his part, but the Panthers do end up winning still by 10 points, beating the Pittsburgh Steelers 13 to 23. This is the third win in the row, I believe. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going pretty well, Panthers. While wow. right now, I think the Falcons is 0 3. Uh, with the Quincy Blunt, Quincy Blunt, the Falcons is 0 3. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they can get day record. Hopefully Matt Ryan can start doing something more offense. And hopefully this imposter Cam Newton will tell us where the real Cam Newton is at. 
so the offense could get even better on the Panthers. But this video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.